Michael Walls, who is being considered as a candidate to become the US president's national security advisor if Donald Trump returns to the White House, has spoken out about the US strategy in Russia's war against Ukraine. Speaking at an Atlantic Council event in October 2024, he voiced a number of criticisms of the Biden administration, emphasizing the need to rethink the current approach to the conflict. Walls noted that Trump has been tougher on Russia than the rhetoric in Washington reflects. He recalled that during Trump's presidency, the US struck Russian mercenaries, including 300 to 400 Wagner PMC fighters in Syria, when they tried to attack American forces. Walz's main focus was on the Biden administration's lack of a clear strategy for ending the war in Ukraine. We've been at war for three years, and there's still no clear definition of victory, he said. Walz said the US should be clear about whether it is prepared to push for a complete withdrawal of Russian troops from Ukraine, including Crimea. He asked about the cost, time and resources needed to achieve that goal and stressed that US allies should do more to help Ukraine rather than simply match US support. Walls focused on energy policy and sanctions against Russia. According to him, despite the sanctions, Russia continues to sell oil and gas at reduced prices through India and China, which allows its economy to remain stable. Walls called for the lifting of restrictions on the export of liquefied natural gas from the United States, which, in his opinion, will help saturate world markets and reduce oil prices. This will weaken the Russian economy, which, according to him, literally cannot afford to continue the war if the price of oil falls below $50 per barrel. Russia is a nuclear fueling station, just like Iran. If we control the energy market, we can force Russia to the negotiating table. Walls said he stressed that energy strategy would be a key element in pressuring Russia and solving both the US foreign policy and domestic economic problems. Thus, the potential national security advisor outlined his vision for future US policy on the war in Ukraine, focusing on strengthening sanctions and changing the energy strategy to force Russia to negotiate. President-elect Donald Trump on Tuesday said Elon Musk and former GOP presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy will lead a new Department of Government Efficiency, which is not, despite the name, a government agency. The acronym DOGE is a nod to Musk's favorite cryptocurrency, Dogecoin. Trump said in a statement that Musk and Ramaswamy will work from outside the government to offer the White House advice and guidance, and will partner with the Office of Management and Budget to drive large-scale structural reform and create an entrepreneurial approach to government never seen before. He added that the move would shock government systems. It's not clear how the organization will operate. It could come under the Federal Advisory Committee Act, which dictates how external groups that advise the government must operate and be accountable to the public. Federal employees are generally required to disclose their assets and entanglements to ward off any potential conflicts of interest and to divest significant holdings relating to their work. Because Musk and Ramaswamy would not be formal federal workers, they would not face those requirements or ethical limitations. Musk posted on X, Department of Government Efficiency. The merch will be. Later he added, threat to democracy? Nope, threat to bureaucracy. Musk has been a constant presence at Mar-a-Lago since Trump won the presidential election. The president-elect has often said he would give Musk a formal role overseeing a group akin to a blue-ribbon commission that would recommend ways to slash spending and make the federal government more efficient. Musk at one point suggested he could find more than $2 trillion in savings, nearly a third of total annual government spending. Ramaswamy suspended his campaign in January and threw his support behind Trump. Where is he? Come on up here, Elon. He created the first major American car company in generations and his rocket company is the only reason we can now send American astronauts into space. Take over, Elon, yes, take over. <laughs> As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark MAGA. You know, you, 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 <laughs> you, you, you show, you show, you show what, you show what matters by your actions, not your words. And my actions are, I'm here, I'm in Pennsylvania, um, and I'm here for a very important reason, which, yeah, it's, it's, which is, 
I can't emphasize I can't emphasize enough that Pennsylvania is I think the linchpin in this election, and this election I think is going to decide uh, the fate of America, and in, uh, along with the fate of America, the fate of uh, Western civilization. I think as a nation, we are really still just a little young, actually. And I think we can still be a nation in our ascent. So on one hand, I'm not going to be the person who tells you it's morning in America because it's not. But I think it can be. And I think it's going to take a leader who both sees the present hour for what it is. The hour is late, but it's not done yet. And I think with that, I do think that our nation's best days for the next generation can still be ahead of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs>